Hey everybody, I'm Zesty. Welcome to my channel where I show you how to make my favorite recipes and DIYs. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a bedside caddy. This is probably one of my favorite DIYs to date just because I find it so useful. If you guys are like me and you are on your laptop before bed, if you read books before bed, if you lose your remotes and your phones in your bed, um, this is actually a really, really great little item to have. It allows you to kind of organize and put everything away without actually having to get out of the bed. We all know what it's like to have to get out of the bed to do something when you are exhausted. It's the worst. I actually lose a lot of things in my bed, my phone, my charger cables, a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. And it was beginning to be a problem. My nightstand was looking really, really chaotic. I wasn't gonna show you guys this, but here it is. Yeah, not cute. So yeah, this bedside caddy really alleviated my crowded nightstand. All right guys, let's get to making this bedside caddy. For the full list of supplies and tools you need for this DIY, please see the description down below. You are going to need a thick piece of fabric. This one here that I have is 33 inches in width and 28 inches in height or length, which is the perfect amount to make a caddy that fits my 12 by 8 inch MacBook Air. The first thing that I did was fold my fabric in half and measure it out on the side of my bed frame so that I could figure out how high off the ground I wanted it to be. And then I measured and took note of where I was going to cut my pockets, which turned out to be 10 inches from the bottom. After figuring that out, I laid my fabric out so that the side that was going to face the inside of the pockets was facing upwards. And then on the bottom left corner, I measured and cut out a 12 by 12 inch square piece of fabric that I later used for my front pockets. And once I cut out my square for my pockets, I ended up cutting a bigger square on the same corner and I left about half an inch of fabric on the very bottom so that it would look something like this. Using my glue gun, I glued down this part of the fabric that I didn't cut so that it would be nice and flat. And then I proceeded to make my pockets with my glue gun. So I moved over to the top right piece and drew a straight line about an inch from the edge to use as a guide for gluing. And the trick here is to work quickly so that you get the best results from the glue. So as soon as you've added your glue, you want to immediately fold over the fabric and press it down so that you create a strong seal. Okay, next I made another guide with my marker right on top of where I just glued and used my glue gun to fold and attach my fabric. And as you can see here, I had an inner flap that was loose, so I also glued the very corner of it down to the inner edge. Next, I turned over my caddy and glued down the bottom edges with a good amount of glue to create a strong seal. I also used my fingers to press it together while it was still warm and I sort of molded it so that it would look straight and even on the bottom. And as you can see here, I cut some of the excess fabric on the left side of the caddy where I glued the fabric down. Next, I measured where I was going to cut my main compartment, which is 10 inches from the bottom. And when you are doing this, you are going to have three layers of fabric in total, and it's really important that you only cut out the shape on the top two layers of the fabric. If you were to cut all three, you'll actually ruin the whole thing.
And as you can see here, I left about half an inch of fabric on each side. And this part should be glued down so you shouldn't be able to cut it. And when I was done with that, I grabbed my square piece that I cut earlier to make my front pockets. And this was pretty easy. I basically cut the square in half and then attached the outer edges with my glue gun to make pockets. To make the edges of my pockets look nice and neat, I folded over the edges towards the back like so and then I glued them down. Then I positioned the pockets over the caddy and marked down where I wanted to attach them so that I could glue them into place. When I was done that, I measured out my fabric ribbon to attach on the side edges of my caddy and I made sure to cut a little extra so that I could fold over the bottom. When I glued this, I made sure to only use a little bit of glue and I used the edge of the glue gun tip to spread the glue so that it wouldn't show through the ribbon. And when I was done that, I turned it over and glued the ribbon over towards the back and used my ruler to help press it down. And as you can see here, I tucked and glued the bottom pieces of the ribbon on the back of the caddy. Next, I turned over my caddy and glued down three pieces of my scrap fabric like so. And these pieces are going to provide some support for the caddy. If you have a slated bed base like me, you're going to want to cut the attached pieces in half so that you can tie them over the slates. But if your bed base is flat, you actually don't have to do this. You can leave the pieces as they are and just kind of sandwich them between the base and the mattress. Okay, when I was done with that, I got my brother to help me lift my mattress so that I could tie my caddy to the slates just like so. 
and I made sure that I tied all of these nice and tight. Okay, there you have it. I'm going to put in a few of my bedtime items so that you can see how much weight it holds and how cute it looks. What I love about this caddy is that it turned out so nice and I didn't even have to do any stitching or sewing, which is really great for people who don't regularly sew or own a sewing machine. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a video.